Hey English Family 4, this is your syllabus overview video. So my hope is that you've had a chance to glance at it yourself and that you're going to read the whole thing in its entirety with the link that's posted in Blackboard. But this video is designed to just kind of hit the highlights, the things that I am really, really hoping you captured your attention as you understand as we move forward. So let's get started. All right, so this is what our syllabus looks like. There's a link on the menu lift in black, left menu link in Blackboard if you want to click on it. It's also a link in the email that I sent you today um, or during opening week, depending on when you're watching this video. First things on here are my contact information. Please don't call me. I don't use my office phone at all. Um, so you'll want to email me if you want to contact me. I will get your email. I'll respond to it when I can. Um, I promise I get them all and I respond to them all. Beyond that, I do have set office hours and all of my office hours take place in Zoom. Also on that left menu list to the left in Blackboard, there's a link that says, join me for my office hours in Zoom. If you've made an appointment with me, you can click that link. And when I see your name pop up, I'll let you in. You don't have to have a Zoom account, nor do you have to have, log into Zoom. You just have to be able to click that link. Beyond that, this is an online class. So the most important thing you can do to be successful in this class is to make sure that you have reliable internet access. It does not mean you have to pay for it. I don't care if you're using your mamas, your cousins, your best friend, McDonald's, Starbucks, whatever the case may be. We have lots of Wi-Fi on campus here at SWIC, but you need to have a plan and a backup plan because if your life is anything like mine, sooner or later, there's going to be a hiccup. We we want to make sure that we can still access our course materials. All right. So this course is integrated reading and writing, which means we're going to do a lot of reading and a lot of writing. There's really no way around that. That is what the class is designed to do, to make sure that whatever your dream is going forward in your education, that you're prepared to do that. So if you've got something you want to get done, I want to help you to be able to do that. And that's what we're going to do in this class. In our class, it's a completely online class. Um, so there will never be a time where you're required to come in and see me face to face or to see your classmates face to face, but we will communicate a lot. So we're gonna read things, we're gonna write about things, we're gonna share things with each other, we're gonna discuss them in the hopes of making them better uh, and to better understand them. On Tuesdays of every week, you'll get an email from me. It'll tell you what it is that you need to be doing that in the class that week. You can email me back and say, hey, I have a question or hey, I need this and I will get back to you quickly, I promise. I don't ever want you to feel like you're on your own. So with that said, all of our assignment materials are in Blackboard. All of our communications will be via SWIC email, and every time we meet virtually, it will be in Zoom. So all of these things are things that we're going to use to be able to communicate. Text for the class, there's only one. It's the Hate You Give. You can purchase your own copy, and I suggest that you do or get a copy from the library that you can use all semester long. You'll see on your syllabus that there are also links to the book free online, um, which is a little bit harder to read. It's not in your pocket. You can't pull it out and take notes. And we're going to use lots of audio book recordings in this class, so you'll be able to listen to it as well. So I want to make sure that everybody understands that there's a variety of ways to access the materials for the course. Beyond the book, The Hate You Give, everything else that we do will be provided to you in Blackboard either via text and Blackboard um, or in via your documents that you're writing in your Google Drive. All right, let's see here. We talked about email. Ah, let's talk about assignments and grading. So in this class, we're going to read one full-length book. That's the hate you give. We're going to read a lot of articles and poems, and we're going to look at things visually and watch lots of videos, all kinds of stuff like that to really build our content knowledge base for the items that we'll be writing. You're going to write four very short papers in here, and then after we've done all of the reading and we've written those papers and we've thought about it, we're going to put together a portfolio. Um, that portfolio 
will be our writing assessment portfolio, and it will consist of the two papers that you think are your strongest, extensively revised. So you're going to look at it and make changes. I'm going to look at it and make changes. Your classmates are going to look at it and make changes. And we'll put together that folder, which will contain your best works. And that is how you get out of this class at the end of the semester. Beyond that, there's a couple other cool things that we'll be doing. Each week, you'll have a discussion board. It will contain all of your assignment materials, all of your discussions about your readings. Um, and we will also do a group project this semester that has to do with the hate you give. So you want to look at those things just so that you're kind of aware of what you're getting into. Also on that assignment list is conferences. So in this class, you're required to meet with me twice um, in Zoom so that we can talk. The first one happens in week two. It's an introduction to the course. We're gonna kind of make sure that you can access everything, that you have a chance to address any questions that you have with me. And I have some things to share with you. And the second one happens in week 11 when we're working with finishing up our portfolios so that you can get feedback on where you are, on your writing, and what all you need to do to finish up the class strong. This next section up here just talks about how much time it takes to successfully complete this class. And this is the part I think most students skip, but it's probably the most essential part here. In this class, it's a three credit hour class, but it also is a class that's divided into reading and writing, right? So in the first part of the class, we're gonna be doing much more reading in our time, right? So if you look here, it says very clearly that you have a solid kind of breakdown, that you should be spending at least probably three hours a week doing nothing but reading for this class. And then another two or so hours working on materials, either writing papers or watching videos or other things that are going on. So that that's a solid block of like, you know, this time that you need to make sure that you have outside of, you know, just looking at me here talking to you, you know, and looking at your emails. So however your life works, I really suggest you set an alarm, set a plan that these are the hours that I'm going to dedicate to English 94, because that is the easiest way to be successful in this course. Beyond that, the last part is just about what I'm hoping we all get through uh, and we acquire as we get ready to leave here at the end of the semester. I hope that you're very, um, have gained skills in terms of how you read academically and for fun, that you have more confidence, that you're understanding the materials as they are presented to you, and that you have more confidence in responding to materials and writing. So again, as you move forward into your future life, your future academic uh, pursuits, you'll be able to do what it is you want to do with your life. And that's pretty much the class. Of, the, of course, the end of the syllabus is typically just policies um, that the college has. And that's all that I'll really you know, share here. The only thing that's new in the college policies is the withdrawal policy. And basically, it just states that instructors can no longer withdraw you. You're responsible for doing that yourself. You have to do it before week 12. Uh, and after week 12, there are no withdrawals. So if you've been at SWIC for a while, that's a new policy. But if you just got here, you know, this semester, then, you know, it's the first thing that you heard, and that's okay, too. And that's about it for my syllabus overview. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Bye, people.